Hey everybody! Welcome to another video where I do whatever I want. And today, I want to test name brands versus store brands. I'm sure this has already been a trend on YouTube. I'm sure at some point everyone did this. I don't think I've ever done it. I don't know if anyone started the trend, then I'm not gonna research it. <laughs> but I will say, I don't remember seeing anyone doing this, but I feel like it was a thing in the beauty community for a little bit. But I needed to go to CVS, and I had a bunch of CVS coupons. I've never used the coupons on a CVS receipt. And I got like, it, it was, it had to have been six feet long. I got a receipt that was like six feet long and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna freaking use these coupons. And so I went to CVS to use them. Then of course I got distracted and thought about videos and realized I wanted to try CVS brands versus the name brands. So if you guys like this, this will be the first store that I try this with. I can try other stores because non-name brands are name brands because it's that store that names them. So it's like the Target brand versus a name brand or a CVS brand versus a name. It's never not a named brand. They have to name it. It's store brand versus name brand. That's what it is store brand versus name brand had to get there so I bought a bunch of stuff at CVS and then used all the coupons that I had and then somehow I got an even longer receipt back how do how do you have this many coupons this is just my receipt right here okay this file away in the business thing these are just coupons on coupons on coupons on coupons on coupons <laughs> Oh, it's all because I started buying CVS brand. So these are all coupons for CVS brand things. Buy one, get one M&Ms. Love that. So there's that. Ready? Let's begin. I got mainly my normal brand versus CVS brand. So first, as I was putting on makeup, I put makeup all over my hands. I'm really good, I'm an artist. And then we're going to try the normal makeup remover wipes that I use, Neutrogena Makeup Remover Cleansing Towelettes versus Beauty 360. This is CVS's brand. I Googled it while I was there. And they're so sneaky. They put their brand right next to the other brand and they always make it look the exact same. They put the same colors, the same like way to open it. They're like trying to trick you in to buying their version of it. Are there ingredients? CVS has a lot more ingredients than Neutrogena. My goodness. All right, let's try it. I was also out of these and I had a coupon for them. Oh God, I'm dropping things. Here's the Neutrogena wipe. Ready? Is it, is, you gotta, you gotta focus. You gotta, there we go. All right. I mean, it's a really good wipe. I very much enjoy my Neutrogena towelettes. That hand is clean. Think you for your service. Now, for the 360. This feels gross, it feels like a diaper. They're thicker. Is it focused? You gotta focus on it. Please focus on my little hand. Oh, it looks like a happy face with a mustache. Oh, I love that. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, you can't see it. <laughs> It's, my, it's hard to show you. The eyeliner is being a little tricky. Oh, come on. Oh, it doesn't want to come off. I have got little tiny eyeliner, but you can't even see it. It's not coming off. Let's see if the neutral Gina White can get it. Yeah, it came right off. Wow, I actually thought they would be the exact same because my dad has always taught me, I guess it's with medicine, like Advil or ibuprofen. Those are always have the same ingredients as the store brand ones. So my dad loves a good store brand product. So I've always been on the assumption like, yeah, they work just as well. That one didn't work just as well. It was almost as well. I mean, like, I'd use it. I wouldn't, like, shun it. But, like, if I had the choice, I'd go with my Neutrogena. Next product. Now, we just used some harsh chemicals on our hands. So we should lotion up. I've used this in the past. It's thick. It goes on. It moisturizes. And here is what was right next to it. They were right next to each other on the shelf. Beauty 360 Daily Moisturizing Lotion. So, on the left hand, we will put the Aveeno. Mmm. Yes, yes, yes. It's on. It doesn't have the best scent, but it's not a bad scent. They seem to be about the exact same consistency. Mm-hmm. Oh no, this one smells like a dissected pig. This one smells bad. Yeah, I'm getting a little dissected pig scent in this one. Ah, I really thought, I was like, it's lotion. It can't be that different. Avino smells better. Let's, let's wait a second and see how the uh, hands feel. I let it dry out. It feels about the same, but I will say the Aveeno smells better. Are there ingredients? Again, the CVS brand has more ingredients than the name brand. That's weird. Why are they putting more effort into these things? Next product. They feel the same. Yeah, they feel the same. They just smell a little different. We all know that this will have a different result. Toilet paper. Charmin Ultra Strong. This is my girl. This is my boy. This is my homie. This is my life. This is my name brand of choice. Always. It's soft, but strong. This is just the basics. It looks so so 
rough. Now we're not going to go to the bathroom. We're just gonna take them out and feel them against our skin. First, let's do the Charmin Ultra Sun. It's like a, a firm pillow. I could sleep on it. Mm. I know this gets the job done, but I also know this is very expensive. This I couldn't afford when I was in college. When I was in college, I had to get just the basics. Oh! Oh, the memories come flooding back. Look how thin that is. I can literally see through it. This is what you use to TP someone's house. Don't do that. That's littering and illegal and vandalism. Just don't do that. But this is the brand you buy. Oh, it's so thin. Oh, and it just, look how, yeah. It shouldn't flutter this easily. It shouldn't flutter. This, this has got some texture, some, you could see the fluff come out of it. There's fluff in the air. This doesn't flutter. This has a weight to it because it's double ply. I've never tried triple ply. I've always wanted to. I didn't know it existed and I talked about it and then people are like, no, it exists. I need to try that. I mean, this is what is in public restrooms. They don't give you Charmin Ultra Strong. They give you this. And it hurts your bum. And I go, guys don't care as much because they don't have to wipe every time they go to the bathroom. But girls, I feel like if you're gonna spend your money on something, spend it on something better than this. <laughs> this does not deserve to be on your tushy or woo-hoo-ha. That's a new word for vagina. Woo-hoo-ha. It's so rough. You would just make the rest of your day unpleasant. And in reality, you're actually spending just as much because you have to like get a bunch of this to do the same wiping job as Charmin Ultra Strong. Just saying. It's like one of the things I'm most bougie about is my toilet paper. <laughs> Next product, something on a similar line, tissues. So this is Kleenex. There's a hair on it. It's mine, don't worry. And then there is CVS Quality Total Home. They have a lot of different names for their brands depending on, oh, you know what? This isn't too bad. Depending on which type of product it is. Okay, so we've got a tissue. It's not the softest, but it's it's not like a toilet paper. Now the Kleenex, this is supposed to be a sleeker pouch than this, but really it might be a little thinner, but it's a lot whiter. Do people really care about the sleekness of their on-the-go tissues? I didn't realize there was a thing. Oh! This is two ply. This is three ply. Give me this. Oh, it is softer. Oh yeah, it's way softer. See, if you didn't give me the Kleenex, I would think the total home was totally fine. <laughs> But the sense I felt the I want the Kleenex. I want it on my face. I want it on my nose. I have makeup on it. Yeah, I mean, if I need a tissue, I don't care. Just give me a freaking tissue. But if you have a cold, you know how your nose just gets so raw after blowing your nose and sniffling and wiping? If I'm sick, I'm gonna want the good stuff, man. I'm gonna want the good stuff. Next product. I hate that the, that the name brands are winning. Oh, a coupon. I don't have a sore throat, but we're gonna see which one tastes better. This is my love. When I have a sore throat or a cough, I want some Ricola Honey Lemon with Echinacea, all right? It's delicious. Tastes like a candy. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. You're actually not supposed to eat these when you don't have a sore throat or a cough, so I'm gonna spit this out, but it's delicious. My mouth feels refreshed, feels happy, feels like I could breathe again. Now let's try lemon honey cough drops. Sugar free. That doesn't sound right. I should make sure there's nothing bad in these for me. I mean, just dyes, but no animal product. All right, they look the same. This soon seems a little more candy-like, but that's fine. They're kind of chalky, like maybe grady. Whoa, this one's opening up my nose a way more amount. Oh, ooh, okay. <coughs> oh, now I'm coughing. Great. I have to say the store brand one is opening up my airways a lot more, but the Ricola ones tasted better. I'm gonna put this out. That's weird. I feel like the Ricola ones, oh yeah, the Ricola ones tasted way better. But the store brand, I feel like was working more. Oh, that's weird. Okay, well then that, I guess that's, do you want it to work better? Do you want it to taste better? That's up to you. That's weird to eat a cough drop when you're not sick. <laughs> Are these sugar free? See, I, sugar three usually means it's better. Oh, the store brand one, this has a lot less ingredients. Oh but the Ricola ones doesn't use dyes. They use lemon juice, concentrate, natural flavors, starch, syrup, sugar. Oh, so this one's safe for diabetics because it's sugar free. Oh, I get it. I guess this one's a personal preference. This one's up in the air. See, I think my dad was right with the medical stuff. Brand name and store brands, it's not that much different. But things like Band-Aids could be completely different. So let's put some Band-Aids on, a wash and try and figure this out. So we have CVS Health, that's their name brand for these things. We are going to wrap my thumb, each thumb. This is store brand will be on the left. <laughs> oh God. Okay, caught it. All right, it is on there. Great. So for this one, the store brand has the stickiness on the outside of the gauze as well. This one does not. On the outside of the gauze, it's just the gauze. That's, I think, a personal
personal preference how you like your band-aids. I don't like the plasticky waterproof ones. Those suck. I like these fabric ones. They're on. Let's go wash our hands. Come on. Well, Band-Aid seems to be fraying a little bit. It's got some frays. This one seems to be fine. I think store brand might have just won. Very confused. All right, guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to see videos every Tuesday and Thursday on this channel. Make sure you subscribe to my vlog channel. And make sure you're also checking out my mom's and my podcast, All Things Internet, new episodes every Monday. I didn't think there'd be that big of a difference between store brand and name brand, but it could just be CVS's store brand. So if you like this video, I could try out like Target's store brand and Ralph's and uh, I don't know, other Walmart's. I could try out other places. Store brands are always cheaper, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they're worth it. Words. So I'd love to keep testing these things out. You guys know I love testing products. Let's keep this one a rolling, if you like it. Shout out for today. The person who retweeted my Q&A will be Kate McCaffrey. Thank you so much, Kate. I love you guys, and remember, above all else, stay awesome, possums.